Earning targets then for today are Howie Monopolis determines the profit maximizing price and quantity. How to determine whether a monopoly is earning a profit or a loss. The effects of the difference between perfect competition and monopoly on society's welfare. How policymakers address the problems posed by a monopoly. The meaning of price discrimination. And why price discrimination is so prevalent when producers have market power. And here's this little cartoon here. Pick on Bill Gates a lot uh, for some reason uh, with Microsoft there, Monopoly. And there he is again. Um, Monopoly's revenue. So the marginal revenue curve for a perfect competition, if you remember, it was perfectly, perfectly elastic. And they were price takers. Whereas in a monopoly, the marginal revenue curve is downward sloping. Because they are actually price makers. So it says the, the marginal revenue curve is always less than the price. And the demand is the price. And so it's always going to be less than the demand curve. And uh, there, that the bullet there says the marginal revenue curve lies below the demand curve. And so you can see where perfect competition, PC and QC would be. Uh, that's where perfect competition would be. They'd be where supply and demand are equal. And uh, now you can also then take a look at where a monopolist might uh, be at. So there's the price for a monopolist and the uh, quantity for a monopolist. And uh, notice that obviously a monopolist is going to charge a higher price and they're not going to have nearly as much quantity uh, being offered either. So compared to the perfect competition, a monopolist reduces the output and raises the price. And there you can compare the demand curves. Again, perfect competition is perfectly elastic. And demand curve for a monopolist is usually inelastic because they're the only ones producing that good. And then you can read uh, that little description there below. Get rid of this box here for a second so you can read that. You can pause that and read that if you'd like. Uh, the nice thing is, is there are not, it's not side by side, there's not a short run, there's not a long run. So it's, uh, it's just going to be one big graph. And so let's draw that graph. And uh, so we will draw the uh, price and the quantity. And in a monopoly, uh, you have a downward sloping demand curve. which is the same as the price and you have the marginal revenue curve so in the perfect competition if you remember uh, we had Mr. Darp and so marginal revenue was the demand curve but in Monopoly uh, the demand curve is downward sloping and then the marginal revenue curve lies below that since we are the only producer of this good uh, we can charge a higher price for it so there we have our demand curve and our marginal revenue curve. Now we need to put in our marginal cost curve. So let's go ahead and put in that marginal cost curve. We can still draw the lovely check mark. So MC for marginal cost. And in a monopoly, we still are going to follow the same rule for output. So I don't know if you remember that. Be good if you can remember this because it will help you. Uh, immensely on the test seems like every other question asks uh, something about it but again it's where MR equals MC so MR equals MC I find that on the graph here draw a line down and there's my quantity uh, remember that the demand is also the price and so we don't just go straight over here to find the price we go up to the demand curve to find the price so there's the price of my product right there I am making a profit, and so I need to draw in my average cost curve, and that has to go somewhere below the price. It doesn't necessarily matter where, as long as it's below, and it's still intersecting the marginal cost curve at the minimum point. So I'm going to go ahead and draw in my average cost curve, and then I can locate the profit, 
So the profit is where the price is down to the average cost curve and over. And then that rectangle there represents my profit. And uh, so far, so good, right? Uh, that's what an unregulated monopoly looks like. Uh, just a couple other things to look at, too. Now, if we were to look at where is it most efficient to produce, then would be where marginal cost, which, again, the marginal cost curve is the same as the supply curve, where marginal cost and demand are equal, that's where it's socially optimal. So let's find that point then. Uh, find where supply and demand, or in this case marginal cost and demand, where where they intersect. I draw that line down, and I'm going to label that QE. The E stands for efficient. So that's where it's most efficient to be operating. That's in like a, if you're in perfect competition, that's where they would be operating, and that's where the price will be at. So uh, there are some people that are left out then, as you can see in this graph, some people that are not receiving this good because the quantity is not that high. And so uh, what we need to do then is draw in a, the deadweight loss. And the deadweight loss is a triangle representing all the people that are left out. And so that goes right here where uh, MR equals MC up to that price and then over to the socially optimal point. And we can just kind of fill in that triangle there. And then we will just label that deadweight loss. And that's pretty much it if you're just asked to draw an unregulated monopoly. Uh, in a little bit, we'll show you how to draw a regulated monopoly as well. It uh, looks very similar, but we have to add a couple more things. So at this point, uh, you've drawn an unregulated monopoly twice, probably. So hopefully that's becoming more familiar to you. And we're going to draw it one more time. And so we're going to draw some of the things we just drew, but show what happens if the government regulates a monopoly. All right, let's draw a regulated monopoly then. And again, I'm going to need a kind of a big graph here because it's just one graph, but it is kind of big. So I draw my price, and I draw my quantity. I would draw my demand curve that's downward sloping. I would draw my marginal revenue curve, which lies parallel to that below the demand curve. I would then include my marginal cost curve. I would locate where MR equals MC and draw a line down, and that would be the quantity. To find the price, I would go up to the demand curve and over. Don't forget that. And that would be my price. I also have to show that there's a profit. So I will put in an average cost curve that will intersect the marginal cost curve at the minimum point and then go back up. So that's the average cost curve. And uh, again, we know how to find the profit area. You saw that rectangle. You also saw the deadweight loss area. And um, I'm not going to draw that in this time just because it gets kind of messy. I could, but uh, I just want to show you where the uh, monopoly might be regulated uh, by the government. And so uh, one of those spots might be where marginal cost equals demand. And so we look at where marginal cost equals demand. And there, the government might um, regulate a monopoly here and tell them that they have to produce here. And so that would be where it's most efficient. And again, as I mentioned before, the marginal cost is supply. And so it kind of makes sense the most efficient spot would be where supply and demand are equal. That would be equilibrium. So that's uh, QE for efficient. And the government might also regulate another way. So this is a second option. This is uh, where they would make zero or normal economic profit. And where that would be is where the average cost intersects demand. So see if you can find that on your graph. So it's where average cost intersects demand. If you can find that point then, you can draw that line you know, straight down, and that's the new quantity. And that's actually called fair return or average cost pricing. So that's a pretty long term for it, and unfortunately there's 
That is what economists use. They both they use both fair return or average cost pricing. I personally kind of like the uh, average cost pricing because then I can remember, oh yeah, I'm looking for average cost, and so where does average cost and demand intersect? Then that's where I would remember that um, that's where I'd have to draw it. So that is a uh, regulated monopoly. So they could be either regulated uh, this way here, or they might be regulated uh, through the fair return average cost pricing here. Now, uh, sometimes uh, the problem with regulating monopoly is the government might have to give them a subsidy. And so um, and that's the only problem is if they operate at a loss then, and if the government still wants them to produce, uh, the government would actually have to give them aid to keep producing. So that might uh, happen too sometimes.